Hello everybody, and welcome to my house videos. Well, today I'd like to show you a little something different. Um, I remember before I showed you a couple of my other SketchUp houses, but I actually, you know, instead of just showing you SketchUp, the, what I can do, what I did in it already, show you how I work in it. You know, kind of like a demonstration of the skills. Instead of just showing you them, I'll show you how to work them. So, what I did is, I was I just happened to be working on this old farmhouse here, and, you know, um, in terms of showing you how to actually, how I work in SketchUp personally, um, I decided to use my current project that I'm working on, because there's all sorts of things I will be able to do. I will be able to draw lines, I will be able to extrude, be able to make components and put them in, show you how the coloring works. I'll be doing rooms and how I make finishes and whatnot. Because watch as my cursor moves, I'll show you like I mean details like such as here and around the windows and such. I mean, as you can see this side of the house is pretty much well, I mean almost done. But if you take a spin around, you see this is how the house actually looked before I started putting finishes on it. But I mean I will actually go through all of that in subsequent videos because my videos can only be 15 minutes um, tops because YouTube is crazy but here um, what I would what I like to do for this first video is not really show you what controls I'm using but kind of show you how I work in it because in other videos I'll actually show you legitimately how I make window components how I make door components even stair components maybe but um, right now, today I'd like to just show you, to uh, demonstrate on how I, just how I work in it. So what I will do is I'll work on this porch. I'm going to finish this porch right here. And even though the columns are done, and the roof is done, um, I'm actually, I'm going to do railings and such. But railings will um, be extrusions and some planning, some drawing. So um, that will find it interesting. Alright, so while I work, I will talk to you guys. Alright, we'll start by... Guide. Oh, and also, bear in mind, um, some SketchUp users may be watching this, and um, they have ways different than me. So, just bear in mind we have our differences. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually just determining railing height, because I'm making railing, and i got to move as fast as possible. So what I'd like to do is um, see just how far fast the railings are. Now what you see back here is a column that I made in, for another model before. So I just had, and it had a good model, so um, good um, column example. So I decided to uh, import that, and which in another video I'll show you how I did that. So, yeah. So yeah, um, when I find something good, I import it, but... However, none two model houses I do are exactly the same. So what I did there is I used that column back there um, as a guide. And that's how I made these columns here. I mean, I can import, but I actually made some changes. So um, what I would do if I need to make changes, I'd import and then make modifications. So here, so I'm making a railing sort of. No, not sort of. I'm actually making the cross section of the railing, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to extrude it back and forth. And obviously, we know here. Um, okay, so that's good. That's going. It's about one inch off the ground, two inches this way, two inches up, and then four inches here. What I'm doing, what you do now when you make when I make railings, I make cross sections and then I extrude them, and then I intersect them. But like I said, you know, I mean, you might make railings differently, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So I do it about the middle of the column. Don't worry, I will like cut that out later. I'll cut that out. Um, because what I do now is I would, um, and that's not a bad railing, but, you know, I actually don't like how that really looks. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll play with it a little bit. Uh, maybe one here. Just to uh, sort of mess around with it. And I mean, you can find yourself messing or hours messing with this. I mean, that's this is how fun this program is. Yeah. So I'm not actually going to really explain it. I'm just going to kind of do it. And feel free to follow along. Uh, yeah. Because I'm already I'm already down to almost ten minutes, so let's see if I can get this done in ten minutes. If I can't, I'll cut out um, beforehand and I'll maybe post another video. Um, but I mean, I can picture myself messing around for hours on this software. I mean, hours can be thrown away with this. And not necessarily throw away, I mean, like, you know, I mean, put those hours, I mean, I mean, especially if you're bored, you know, I mean, talk about a boredom buster, right? So this kind of just shows you how I work in SketchUp. Darn it, sorry. A lot of extrusions, meaning there will be a lot of... And, see, for this farmhouse, the railings will be really low. What happens is, you know, usually on a porch, on a porch kind of like this, the railings will be low. Now, if you're thinking about, like, you know, I mean, a second floor, like a balcony or something, the, um, the railings will have to at least be three feet, I mean, for safety purposes. But here, I mean, you're probably just going to fall, like, two feet at most, at most, I mean. So, that's what I'm doing there. So, I'm um, not only modeling, but you sort of look at logic, too. I mean, you kind of you kind of have to. I mean, just for the sa sense that, um, sorry, somehow. Sometimes when I work with this, um, lines get erased by accident. So, that's why, that's why I had to redraw it there. Yeah, like so. So, it makes a continuous line. What happens is sometimes... Um, yeah, whenever you model, you usually want to use logic, um, common sense logic, whatever you learned in either school or just picked up. Yeah. So this is how I do railings. Um, let's go to fencing. Now, some people would actually go through the trouble to put bolsters in there. I don't bother with that. That's too much work for me, too much time, too much energy, so I just use this black fence. I mean, you can use whatever you want. I mean, seriously. See? And front and back. Check out that railing. Okay, maybe yours is better. I don't care. I don't know, but... I like I, I like it. Um, I think it's cool. For me, anyway. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I'm really short on time here. Alright, um, let's see how tall this thing is again. Two foot six, maybe? Yeah. Low railing. No, not two feet, I meant two inches. But again, you know, I mean, use whatever methods make you comfortable. Um, I'm just using what makes me comfortable. Because this is sort of like driving. I mean, if you're not comfortable, you're not going to be able to do a very good job with it. But, um... So, yeah. 
This sort of work. I'm just doing my own thing with it. And I do as I did before. Then cut this out. So really, I guess this video just showed you how I do railings. But, I mean, railings, um, I mean, the difference between, you know, I mean, an incomplete model and a complete model. I mean, your idea is probably not to half-ass it, as I, shall, as I say. I mean, this, this really can give you a, a killer-looking finish. So essentially, yeah, in this video, and yet again. And what I'll do is I'll use the eyedropper tool so I don't have to remake it. And as you can see, it looks a little odd. Yeah, because now I remember I adjusted it, so easily fixed. No trouble at all. Sort of how this looks now. What I like to do here is um, select this completely. I'm sorry. Sometimes SketchUp's cameras uh, are just sometimes I accidentally get in the way with things. It's not like The Sims where things can just disappear sometimes, but yeah, that gets annoying too. But what I'll do is I'll take this guy and we'll post it over here. So I hope you enjoyed this little little tidbit here, my SketchUp tidbit. And if you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really much appreciate it. Um, then because you'll be seeing more and I'll be working on this house more. I'll show you a lot more things. As you can see how empty this is. I will be showing... Next video will be actually be... Um, we'll be finishing the porch. finishing Just finishing the stairs real quick. That sort of thing. Right here, all I did was sort of just put these bolsters in and railings, but basically just showing you how I make things, how I work with things, how I extrude things. Just kind of watch how, just I won't be doing much talking, so just sort of watch how my hand moves. Like you see this little thing buzzing around. That will help you a lot because other videos not only will be porch oriented, but also this. And we'll also be doing the interior as well. As you can see so far I have the walls but I don't have anything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and um, please come back for more. Have a great day. Alright, bye.